is Mita Bikram and I have uh, 20 years of experience uh, as a professional. The last 10 years I've been in the leadership development and coaching space. Um, more recently uh, I was working, uh, heading the uh, behavioral training space at a bank for 20,000 employees. Well, um, I think I'm very curious about um, how thoughts are structured. Something that I've been looking into for a while. I've been working on having more self-awareness, self-development through yoga um, and some other forms of spiritual experiences that I've had. So I was just a bit curious mm -hmm. about how thoughts are structured and how I can influence myself in terms of my self-limiting beliefs by mm -hmm. understanding the deeper structures of how I think. Um, I think the number one learning that I've had um, is about how people communicate and how actually language and words are such a limiting way of understanding other people mm -hmm. because when somebody says for example confidence mm -hmm. that could mean a lot of things could be a lot of pictures or sounds or feelings that they have attached to that mm -hmm. and now I am more mindful that when mm -hmm. someone talks to me that I should further understand what they're saying and some of that is non-verbal and that ownership is on me mm -hmm. to understand them better when they say certain words to me and I think this could have an impact personally for me in a business context. I think secondly uh, would be having more uh, self-awareness for myself. Um, I have a challenge with uh, my self-critical self-talk mm -hmm. um, and now that I have some tools, some techniques some powerful questions, uh, some ways to change my state. So when I hear my self-critical self-talk, I have ways to be just more aware and how I can shift that for myself to be in a state that is more resourceful to me. So Nishit um, is a fabulous uh, trainer in terms of um, he really holds space for people. I like the fact that um, when we are in our unconscious state, I can see that he taps into that, uh, that he doesn't interrupt in that space and he just holds back so that different people who are processing at different levels have the space to be able to do so at their own space, at their own pace. I think it's just been a really uh, wonderful uh, experience. Really, we've gone through so many different models. I like that. I'm somebody who likes to have access to different things. So I have a real uh, number of tools with me now and I can try different things. I also like the fact that there's a lot of structure. I think a lot of what I heard about NLP was that there's not a lot of structure to it, but each of the models have step-by-step uh, instructions which I really believe helps until you get really good at it and then from there I can do something more with it so mm -hmm. having structure in the NLP models has mm -hmm. enhanced my learning and been able to connect with me in a lot better way sign up without even thinking about it because no matter what there's going to be a shift when you give yourself time and space to really re-look at yourself, re-look at your resources, re-look at your thoughts, there's going to be a seamless shift. And holding space, if, if, some, if, if Nishit, or when Nishit holds that space, you have that as an outcome.